I think when you're on your own, you're like trying to like hit deadlines and you're trying to walk out of the studio at the end of the day and say like, I have an actual like physical representation of the time that I've spent doing something. But when you're with somebody else, it's like, you're kind of like able to appreciate just the process of like creating interesting ideas because someone else is in real time saying, that's cool, you know what I mean? <laughs> Every time me and you work together, there is a concept. Yeah. Because I feel like you work separately, you have an overall concept, like when I did my album, it's a a story and I, I can see the shape of it and each track is a contributing factor towards the, yeah. the arc but when we have these select moments in time you look for a much denser individual concept something that stands alone when we have limited time and there's two brains in the room the creative side has to take precedence because if you get lost you know chasing the perfect mix down yeah we can do that anywhere and sharing these creative ideas between ourselves is how it feels the next one. Right, exactly. Because the reward is great, but when you see someone you admire and respect, you know, taking in something you've created, yeah, and they're impressed, yeah, and that's what it's about, right? A big part of our creative process is kind of like the people that we talk about ideas with and hang around with and kind of the organic nature of how an idea goes from just a little idea or just something, a passing thought or just a little loop or something and how that kind of snowballs into whatever it might be. We were talking about the movement of the chords, and it was like, sometimes things get hard. Yeah, yeah, that's how it started. And you want to give up, but if you keep trying, you get there in the end. In the end. Yeah, yeah, exactly. How can we turn that into something that's like... Well, it has some sort of metaphor, or at least depth. Yeah, and it's simple enough to where anyone can really relate, relate to it. We have all these sophisticated metaphors, like you're saying, of what the song's about, and about the struggle of fucking life, and how it re re relates to us as artists, and our struggle, and but let's keep it simple. Let's keep it something that's relevant to an adult, it's relevant to a kid, it's relevant to any person, even if they can speak English or not. It's like simple and follows the melody. And I think if kids are saying it, no one's doing that. If it's fucking executed properly, you could say anything. The more creative you act and the more public and, and, and uh, willing you are to share it, yeah. the more your life seems to gravitate to like-minded people. Yeah.